blocked me for asking if her commissions were open. I've been dreaming of getting a piece from her since I was a dang kid and I finally saved up enough money and she blocked me. So yeah, that is the reason that I always talk about Falvey and she's not number one is because of her attitude. <laughs> so my very number one favorite artist is Lou Curie. art is amazing it's painterly which I have a weak spot for painterly art <laughs> and he also does it very fast his pieces are very expensive but it's worth it you pay for the quality you want and that applies for fursuits too instead of saving up for Falvey I'll just save up and commission Luke Curie because ah, I mean oh, just look at that Number two on my list is going to be Miles DF. Miles DF is a god. There are a bit of food things on his page, so beware about that if you aren't 18 plus. Don't go searching, but I have some images right here of Miles DF's beautiful art. I mainly like Miles DF for the amazing detail and quality in his works. Number three is Angie Wolf Artist. There is their social media right there. I saw them and their art was just, it was amazing. There are no words. It's just very quality art. And number four, Momo Jen. Her art is so kawaii and it's got this distinct style. I love it when I can look at an artist's work and tell it's their style. I love that. And ever since I saw her adopts and her drawings, I just, I've been wanting to commission her for a while now. Just broke. Number five, she would have been higher in the list if things didn't go down the way they did, but Kitsune Syndrome. Ah, I was so close to having art from this artist for a fursuit. I was going to trade an entire partial for like seven pieces of art and I was so, so excited. And then she backed out on me and blocked me after I had already made her tail. So yeah, she would probably be like number two, but I mainly love her art because it's got such a feminine style like the eyelashes, the clothing, the shines, the, the shapes, the thick, like she just draws female characters so well. I don't even know if I've seen her draw a male character yet, but I can't, she blocked me, but any hoopst. Those are my five favorite artists. Thank you. Now here's my top picks for my five favorite artists. The first one is Chloe from Glitter Critter Creations. As you see her art on the screen. I like her art because she does more traditional and very fine detail. So it's, it's really neat and it stands out to me. I, I appreciate her as a fursuit maker and as an artist and all around just a very, very sweet person. Check her out on Instagram. The next person who, uh, he's a great artist, but a lot of you guys haven't seen the artwork. If you know him, you've just seen his YouTube. 
you haven't seen some of the artwork he sent me privately, this guy is a very good artist. I love him. He is Sven the Fen. Go check him out on YouTube. Uh, picture on the screen there. I, I love him. He does great art. It's very grungy and 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 very stylistic, and I, and I just love it a lot. Um, the next person who I suggest, I'm gonna screw up her name, is Ohio Furry, uh, Pibu Pluff. I, I screw it up. Um, she started off by giving me some fan art, and it was her 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 theme of art's really dark and stuff like that. Um, as you can see on her Instagram, she is going blind. Um, Regenitis Pigma, I can't even pronounce it. The art that she makes with very little eyesight she has is just amazing. I don't know if she takes commissions, but um, if she does, go talk to her. Uh, she just did a one of my very few NSFW pictures. I was joking with her and she went ahead and did it, so if you want to see something scary, Go to her Instagram. <laughs> oh, kill me. But um, the last person um, I've never met personally and uh, is a very nice person to deal with, very easy person to deal with. Um, I'm gonna screw up her name. Amira, Amira, with the E, 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 the I little thingy. Alice, I think it's the play on the flowers. Amira, blah, I can't even talk right. Anyway, um, she, made some like polygonal 3d art for me and i just fell in love with it and i bought the rights i'm like can i just buy the rights and i made some t-shirts out of it too um and enjoyed the heck out of those um my friend circuit asked her to make some pictures to cheer me up because i'm kind of going through some stuff right now uh so she drew me as a snake and then she drew me in my hawaiian shirt at the last uh gallery hop fursuit walk so just just awesome person and the last person is is she's a furry but she's not necessarily a furry artist and that's um that's that's my uh my wife lily the fox you know she makes she she paints she draws um this is glow in the dark the white spots are glow in the dark paint that if you let this sit in the sunlight like this it would glow for a couple hours overnight i mean she does I mean, she's not a one-trick fox. She does more than just stuff like that. Um, let me... This is my idea, but she was painting it. It's not completely done yet. We shouldn't have started on a black canvas, but uh, but yeah. So um, she does a lot of great art, and I appreciate her the most. She's not open for commissions. Hell, she probably wouldn't even draw me something if I asked her. But those are my top five favorite uh, artists. Thank you for the ch uh, chance to do this. Bye! I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to making much more. So I'll see you next time. Bye!